anyone out anyone in the chat tried um dll dlss4 <laughs> you got you got me doing it now Stephanie. Yeah. you know um or you know you know what do you guys think about it if you're gamers um <clears throat> You know, I'm not a bigger, uh, as big a gamer as um, as Stefano, but um, one thing kind of worries me a little bit about this DLSS4 is it worries me that we can end up, if it becomes very, very good and everyone kind of loves it, it kind of locks, it vendor locks things into um, just NVIDIA cards. If lots and lots of um, games support DLS4 and it's like you need to have this to play it really well, especially with lower tier cards, then it's going to push everyone i think towards nvidia and intel and amd cards may then kind of like not be so competitive but i'm sure they've got things in the pipeline you know for similar similar things with um with those vendors as well Uh, this is why i mean i tell everybody you know the gaming experience is more important than the graphics and so you should turn the graphics settings down before you use dlss technology or things like that because A lot of the times, like going from medium to high, the differences are so minuscule that you would have to be actively looking for it to detect them. Uh, Minus, of course, shadows and things like ray tracing and lighting. But generally speaking, you know, the difference between medium and high is almost undetectable unless you're looking for it. And when you're actually playing the game, Mm -hmm. you know, you're probably enjoying the experience too much to not even notice those little differences. but you know, and then even changing to low, like a lot of like good games, the world that they build um, and the gaming experience that they provide, you won't even notice graphics issues because you'll be too busy just having fun with the game. 